we get quite a lot of things in here that aren't moths and if we uh, uncover this last egg box you get quite a lot of beetles <laughs> those are all the same species those are the common sexton beetle necrophorus humator which um, some friends of mine study and run the national recording scheme so they'll be getting record 14 necrophorus humator in there they'll get the records later these guys actually live on carcasses hence sexton beetle they do parental care they prepare the carcass for their offspring, they bury it, they, um, they're really quite nice as beetles go but I'm not going to pick any of them up because what they do do if they feel threatened is produce an absolutely horrendous stench which you can't get out of your hands for about a week afterwards so uh, they're going to stay in there and I'll scoop them out in a pot later and uh, put them down at the bottom end of the garden where they won't be annoyed too much. Slightly more inoffensive beetle, certainly in terms of the stink. Yeah, these ones, these, we've had quite a lot of these this morning. This is the Maybug. It's got a lot of other common names, including Cockchafer, Billy Witch, and various others. This is uh, Southern Cockchafer, Melalontha, Melalontha, there's two species in Britain. And these guys, it's been a couple of years, there's a little white grub. If you've got a lawn, you may well have seen them, but they will. Um, roam around underneath your lawn, underneath bowling greens, golf courses, that sort of thing, where they eat the roots of grasses. And occasionally, where you get really, really big numbers of these guys, they can uh, leave brown patches in your lawn when they kill off the grass. But generally, you don't know they're there. Until May, when these guys come out and they're attracted to light. They're quite big. Again, this is about an inch long. And they buzz around in the early hours of the evening, just as it starts to get dusky. You get... Um, banging on windows and that sort of thing as they fly into it because they are fairly clumsy flyers and just randomly bump into stuff but we get them in the moth trap in quite big numbers for about a month they'll mostly be gone by June but really quite attractive beetles when you know what they are